YouTube, what's going on? Moses Rover, going to do a quick tutorial on resampling in the MPC 4000. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple little things that I've kind of learned over the last couple of years with this machine. Um, first thing I want to let you know is when you go to the record screen of the MPC 4000, um, obviously you can pick your the input source, so analog, digital, you can go on and so on, so on and so forth. You can also change whether you want to record stereo, mono R, mono L, like I said, stereo. Um, you can also change the bit rate. You can get 16-bit um, and 24-bit. Another thing you can do is by using the window button, you can switch over and change the um, again the bit rate, and you'll see that the system samples at 41.44.1 kilohertz. Um, boom! So you can do all that. But when you do, do take a sample, there's another thing that you can do, which is you can resample. Um, so just for time's sake, I'm going to open up this. Uh, the sample that I had taken earlier, um, basically it's just a horn sample. Um, I'll play it for you. Um, so basically that's the horn sample I took. Um, but the cool thing that you can do, and as you can see in the top right corner, it gives you the, the rate and the bit depth at which it was sampled. Uh, but what you can do is you can go over to edit, which is right here, and you can actually change um, and resample essentially the sound at a different sample rate and bit depth. Um, as you can see, there's a sample rate up here, bit depth here, and the quality of the of, of the actual resampling. So you can go down to 8 bit, 12, 16, or 24. Um, you can also change the sample rate um, from 44.1, as you see on the left, down to whatever you'd like to on the side. Now. For people who know numbers like this, not that I know them off the top of my head, I looked it up, but um, the SP12, the original EMU SP12, sampled at a sample rate of 27.5 kilohertz and at 12 bit. Um, so basically, you can kind of—it doesn't. It's not a great, you know. I don't know what the word I'm trying to find is, but it's not a great uh, remake of the original sound. But it's it's not bad. It definitely changes the characteristics of the samples you take. It sounds really good on drums. Um, mm -hmm. You can play with it left and right and just make sure and just see what works and see what doesn't work. Um, it does give you the option, as you can see right here, if I go to do it, it'll process the sound out. Um, and as it does that, when it does come up, you can get the, the opportunity to um, play the original. You may not notice a difference on the video, but believe me, you can hear it on the, through the speakers. But I'll play the original. And if you play the new sound, you may notice that's a little bit different. And again, what you can do is you can you can basically go through. Um, maybe you have a, a specific machine, or you know the the sample rate and bit depth of a machine that you like, or that you're familiar with, or that you've heard of, and you can change it just a little bit lower uh, lower fidelity when it comes to taking your samples, um, and just give it a little more grit. Because um, the, the 4000 is a real um, high, the, the machine is very clear and crisp. Um, so if you want those, you know, dirtier drum sounds or you want to, you know, crunch up your, 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 your samples a little bit, it's not a bad way to go about doing it. It definitely has helped me just in taking samples, resampling re re them and getting them a little bit grimier like the older machines. So um, definitely worth trying out if you have a 4000. Um, I know some other machines do it as well. Um, I don't know if it's this in-depth of a process, but um, I know it works on the 4000. So, um, yo, rate, comment, subscribe, keep checking out the videos. Hopefully, those of you who have a 4000 who have not yet tried this, um, give it a go. Let me know what's up. Peace.